hurry, 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 step right up and see the freak show. Uh, no, no, negative, negative. See this freak make a five-way call using only his bare hands. That's right, folks. No need for a blue box. No need for a mute. And he's not even going to use one of these. Okay, sorry for the atmosphere, but this really is starting to get ridiculous. And you can tell from the sound of things that that bridge is there. Say hello, Les. Hello, Les. Okay, I'm now going to make a rather odd three-way call. And when you hear me completing the dialing of the number, be sure to say hello so as to point out that I don't have to bridge back to put you on the line. Hello. Take the number and dial again, or call your operator to help you. This is a recording. Yeah, as we can see, everybody's here, right? Right. Okay, and I'm going to separate you two. We had a three-way call. I've now split it. Just me. Hang on, I'll go get just Jane. We're sorry. Okay, it took one flash after I got to the thing. It's funny, the tinny quality of it. Yeah, I think it's bridge. I think it's just trunks connected together. At first, we weren't sure just what this phenomenon was, but one thing was clear. It was a little bit like the old tandem stacking from the 1970s, because when Les flashed his hook switch a second time, this is what would happen. Okay, here goes. Can we talk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just... Mr. Jerk? The what? I know exactly what you need. You need to talk to our jerk management bureau across town. Oh, yes. Okay. So sorry to put you on hold. I got this uh, jerk on the line, mm -hmm. and uh, he had to go talk to the jerk management bureau. Or you used your overpriced uh, Syntrax feature to transfer him. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, we, I talked to both parties momentarily. You know, if, if that transfer didn't work, he'll probably call you back outrightly. You know how jerks are. Yeah, but I'm sure it worked, because after all, the tariffs say that... Oh, no. Hold on. Hello? Ah. What are you doing here? Didn't I transfer you to the Jerk Management Bureau? Ah, uh, well, I talked to him for a minute and they hung up. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> I think that guy used to work as CEO. Hello? Well, hello. Okay, so this is the second call I'm on, and the first call should have been happily transferred away, and... and well, it is if you like to talk to terminations. Uh, now, here's the second bug. Hello? Mm -hmm. Now, regarding the issue of Wolf Wolf, what should I tell him? Uh, Bow Wow. Hold on. He says Bow Wow. Uh, poo poo on him. Well, based on that, I, I'm sure you want to talk to someone within my Centrex, right? That's right. So let me try. Oh, mercy. Hello, it's busy. Uh -oh. Hold on. Let me try again. Oh, dear, I can't oh, try my again. Goodness. But in retrospect, due to the fact that a new physical connection has to be made every time there's a change of status, it really does make a number of interesting, discernible, and distinct distinctive clicks. Now, of course, that is obviously the most famous example of a number one ESS click and clunk, but there are many more things. Hey, do you want to get that? I'll wait. Oh, never mind. They gave up on you. Well, as I was saying, because of these clicks and clunks, you could pretty much tell what the switch was doing, at least as far as switching you around in its own network. Now, the clicks of the One ESS actually had some social implications, because every time you would get a call waiting beep, the person you were talking to knew it because they could hear the clicks. This would automatically stop the person from talking in mid-sentence, usually at least. Unfortunately, it is falling down from my end, again because I'm in the office. You know, when Les comes back, he's going to be surprised that he can hear me loudly instead of through the tinny quality that he was expecting. Hello! Hello, now it's interesting. Uh, as the, the bridges were dropping off from my direction down to you. So perhaps the fact that I'm in the Centrex. Well, I'm not sure that it has to do with being in the Centrex. Maybe being in the office. Yeah, that makes more sense. All right. Well, uh, or maybe that I'm income. Maybe I'm calling you. Maybe that's the difference. Well, let me call you. All right. Should I call you a star O 
I mean, what, what should, of the many options available, how should I call you? Does it make any difference? Oh, how about star two one? Then why not make you, why not put a, a regular outgoing call on source and put you on destination? The strategy that Les just suggested did work, and on our next attempt... Geronimo! you're in the office you've been originated in, uh... enough this kind of stuff drives me crazy and then there was the four-way call that is three calls coming off of one phone line this is a recording from meadville pennsylvania and so that's why we called it funny mode excuse me i should use my three-way calling a few times here talk continuously so it shows that you are there until i dial the number now it's just you and me at this point, the structure of the call is as follows. My phone line is connected to the center of the call hold bridge. The tape recorder is on the A side as before, but on the B side, where less used to be, is now the center of a second bridge. These were real pieces of physical hardware, and there were bugs in the software. Three in particular. We could stack these things up and then knock them down like a bunch of dominoes. That's the sound of an ad infinitum bridge stack dropping. Think normally it'll work for you. Now that there is a call waiting, it is possible to get another recall dial tone by flashing the hook. Not only that, but I can also invoke funny mode by having that call waiting hang up while I am dialing a number on that dial tone. So to do this, drum roll please, I'm going to hit pound and flash my hook. This causes the call that was waiting to drop while I am dialing a number on that dial tone, thus invoking funny mode. At the end of dialing the number, the original three-way call to the low tone and the zero plus system is brought back onto the line while a third number is added, in this case to a busy signal. God, is this embarrassing. And now we have a five-way call. Say no to measured service. The present temperature is 69 degrees. So what do you mean you gotta report it? This was a very serious matter. But Bell Labs didn't seem to agree. Eastern Daylight Time. By the way, this might be a good time to take a nap. Now, I've got a timer I can set here. There we go. Uh, it'll be just about five minutes, so uh, you can go to sleep now. You won't miss a thing. Hello down there. Hello. Now, uh, would you like to hear the three-way bridges drop? How's that? <laughs> Once your incoming call is gone, then when you start flashing, instead of getting dial tones, you start going backwards. That's incredible. That's like absurd. Absurd, but very logical. Who is this? Who's who? Yeah, you gotta say who's who. We're, we're, we're all here. Wait, 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 wait. wait. wait uh, we don't know who we are. Hello? Hey, Moon Unit? Yeah. We're rebuilding the conference right now. Stand by. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Doing great. This whole thing is really neat. Isn't it? It really is. <clears throat> what? Oops. Oh, crap. Not this. Not me. Nobody well, I hope this oscillation stops. I'm, I'm back. Did you have any oscillation when you were building this before? I'm yeah. popping in and out because I'm building, I'm trying to add somebody on here. There you go. Kill the music. Turn off the radio. Turn off the radio. Is everybody as confused as I am? Whoa, here comes another call. But if for any reason I drop that call to the loop around, you know what's going to happen. Trapped. Try again. Trapped. One possible theory is that those who don't know what they're talking about can tend to be long-winded. And speaking of that, let me shut up. And let me... <laughs> it's 1 slash 1A ESS like you've never heard it before. And that'll include the way you did hear it. On steroids, it's the Centrex quirks of 1983, 
a four-part series coming soon to phone trips and available now on evan-doorbell.com production tapes. Now, before I explain how this worked, let me just... <clears throat>